I've been counting down the days, counting down the days to get out. I've been looking for a way, looking for a way from this town. And you're too far away, you're too far away to help me now. So I'm counting down the days, counting down the days to get out. Cause I need to learn to forget everything that drags me down. Hello and welcome to the Mecca of American Road Racing, Watkins Glen International, for today's running of the Let's Paint a Winner 55, presented by PPG Paints. Today's race will be round 7 of 15 here in Season 3, and the second road course race of the season. Hi again everyone, Jordan here along with, get this, Captain, Pirate, and Nate, the fearsome foursome is back together. And gentlemen, as we approach halfway through the season, how vital will consistency be across today's race and the remaining six for those that are looking for a chance at the championship? Well, we've seen that consistency has uh, mattered a lot. So um, you definitely need to stay consistent. Can't have a bad day. That's going to really hurt your points. Um, so it's going to matter a lot. And this track has been shown to uh, really mix some stuff up with fuel strategy and, you know, wrecks and whatnot. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and look at some pre-race storylines. Dagan, the number 71 Chevrolet, scored his first career victory last weekend in Michigan. However, sitting 25th in points, Dagan is going to need to keep the momentum rolling today at the Glen. Soggy in the number 29 Ford has extended his points lead to one of the largest in Pog Cup racing history and has contended for wins in three of the last four races and with just one finish outside the top 10 this season, today could very well be his day. Mello in the number one Honda sits eighth in points right now and has got top 10s rolling out the ass this season. He won this race last year. We're going to have to see if he can double down here in the Glen today. Others, start your engines. Engines have fired here in New York, and now for your starting lineup of the Let's Paint a Winner 55, presented by PPG Paints. Row 1 has Pirate and Razzle Dazzle. Row 2 is Wet Socks and Carrie. Row 3 is Brent and Ant. Row 4 is David and Adam, Adam Irish. Row 5 has Kreesem and Neo. Row 6 has Dale and Big Andy. Row 7 is Taco and Vuko. Row 8 is Landon and 47 Master. Row 9 is Johnny Sins and Garth. Row 10 is Fish and Facebook Boy. Row 11 is Ski and Mike. Row 12 is Noah and Julia. Row 13 is Joe and Dega. Row 14 is, hey, can you please get a new damn headset? And Derek. <laughs> row 15 is Dr. Latz and Sean. Row 16 is Grandpa Rico and Jerry. Row 17 is Balto and Officer April. So you may have noticed that there is a missing entry in this race. Adam Garcia had been suspended because of a expletive that he used during a roblox event and he has been kyle larson since suspended from pog for at least one race so the zero eight will not be entering but there are still 34 guys that are here going to be walking to the what is the big details the big details of today's race is track position we've seen it at watkins glen before um where if you gotta you, you just need to be up front in order to contend with it you have to be out front and uh, we, well, that's not to say you can't drive through the field, but it is a lot harder to drive through 30 cars than it is to start in front of them and retain that track position. Also, strategy can come into play. We saw that in season one. And one of the guys that needs to drive all the way to the front is Mello. We gave him that little hype stuff, and he's already starting 27th, so he's got a lot to do. Field works their way off, turn the, or off the carousel, heading down towards turn number six here. We're getting and then there. there's just the short shoot. Pace car will dip to pit road, and we'll get this thing underway. Pirate and Raz up front, two of those drivers from season one that found success. Raz winning two races, Pirate, Pirate winning one. Pirate has won this year. Raz running a little bit of a winless streak. And then the hottest guy in town, that 29, sitting there in third place. 
as they work their way through turn number seven. That Dodge Charger pace car is going to head for pit road, and the field is in the hands of the Pirate Man 493 underscore YT. Green flag oh, is out. We are racing from Watkins Glen. Where's the rest of the pack? Just got a bad start on that corner. Down into the first turn. Pirate's going to eke out in front. Raz slinging it around mm. the outside. Raz got a good run off the corner. It looks like he's going to try to bring Kerry along with him. And he's clear through to the race lead. Atta boy, Raz currently sits 33rd in points. Something to Bless smile me. about here early today. Oh, look at Bile's scheme. Mm, beautiful. 51 alongside Jordan in the 57. And Dale's right there as well. Trying to look to see if they can get both of them in the corner here at the bus stop. Side by, side by side into the bus stop. Here they go. 57 inside, 51 outside. Now they swap over. Jordan's in the less preferred lane. And down into the carousel they go. Trying to get single file lane. Taco stuck on the high side. Here comes Fish in the seven trying to get by. Is that the 26? Yes, the 26 of Captain. Right there in your shot, you've got both of your series champions from the past, the 57 and the 50, as well as your rookie of the year from season two, Fish in that number seven. Meanwhile, up in front of him. Oh boy, here he comes. Here comes Big Brent, Brent. in 22. Brent has been our, a soft core road course ringer so far in his career in Pog. Uh, he won in dominating fashion by dominating. He led every single lap at the New Hampshire road course in season one. Uh, rest we'll never that touch track. the race again. But he ran really well at Watkins Glen last year. Almost got tied up in a crash on the front straight with front straightaway with Adam Irish, but they were both able to save it. Brent brought it home, I believe, fifth that day. Back in the rear of the pack, they're still not all settled as they're just trying to get single file. It looks like they finally are. And where is Mello? Mello is up there in front of those guys. You see Ricochet okay. running there in last place. Not the race he's looking for. Currently comes into this race 10th in points. After a wreck last week in Michigan, he needs something to smile about here in Watkins Glen. Oh, is there you see Mello in that number one? Currently running 26, the number one is. Ski in that 37 dips two tires off into the grass on both sides of the, uh, of the bus stop. So did Conrail in the back. And Tago's colors, trying to get Vuko. New colors for that 45 Vuko in this Wendy's car. Very Beautiful nice design scheme. by Kreezum. Back in front of them, they're heading down through that short shoot, headed for turn number seven, back onto the front straightaway. Raz has led him all so far. He's fast in that Boscoff's Toyota. And Raz needs this because if he wants to maintain any momentum that he has, 33rd in points, he needs to start it now. We're almost halfway through the year, and he wants to have any chance of even making the top 10 in points and maybe even getting a championship. It needs to start now. Another noteworthy driver, that number 98, that, uh, whatever that sponsor Monster, Monster, Cat Cat, Monster, Cat, Monster Cat car, my apologies. Uh, that purple car, that number 98 Monster Cat car, that is, uh, sorry, Carrie currently sits last in points, minus 386 to the leader. He needs a good run. He needs many good runs. Absolutely. And today might be a good place to start. Might be a good day to start turning that around. That 98 really brings me back to 2013 when I was listening to Monster Cat. It's such a good looking car. <laughs> Somebody that doesn't necessarily need a good run, at least as far as the rest of the field is concerned, is that number 29 of Soggy oh. has failed to finish outside the, or sorry, has failed to miss the top 10 just one time this year. That was at Nashville. But every other race, he has finished inside that top 10. Three of those races, he has contended for the win. He took no more rookie stripes seriously. Like, this is one of the best performances we've had in the Pog series ever. Trying the to drop the mic on the, on the field. Well, he even had a good performance with the rookie stripes. Got two wins yeah. last year. Meanwhile, back up front, Pirate is reeling in that number 54. Just bit by bit. He's, they've kind of gapped at the third place card just a little bit. As they're single file through most of the rest of the field, you see a side-by-side -side battle down, down into turn one. That's Conrail and NCD. NCD absolutely shoots off of turn one. Gonna and Trumpet looks 44. like he will as well. And no, he falls back, back off, in line. fall in line. It's a battle for about 20 seconds. And you've got Julia and the Squishmallows, number 75. New colors for her as well. And then Mellow in there behind them. Yeah, there's another Mellow behind her. Two Mallows in a row. A Mallow and a Mellow. 98 got a little bit wide out of turn number five right there. Almost let the uh, 29 down to his inside, but now the Soggy's under attack from Brent. Ball and you know Brent's not afraid to attack. From the, uh, to from the outside. The to the oh, wow. Oh, I thought boy. Soggy was going to squeeze him right there. And is also under a lot of pressure from Irish in the 19. He sent him high, and now he's going to try to bring it back up and probably maybe pass him in the bus stop. The snake rolls off turn seven, down into turn number one once again. Pirate closing in bit by bit. It seems like Pirate's better on entry and Raz is better on exit. 
big time. He's going to be laying down the rampage on him soon in that beautiful AEW car. And these two have completely have gone away from the 90 and the 29. They're officially a second ahead. Almost two. 98's a little bit slower. You could definitely tell a lap ago when the 29 was all over his back bumper. Of the drivers in the top 10, a few of the ones that are in need of good runs. We've already talked about the number 98 and the number 54 that are both buried in the points right now. But the 19 of Adam Irish right there, he currently comes in. He comes into this race 26th in points and had a good run at this race last year, battling with Brent in that Ooh. almost chaotic last lap battle as he's under attack from David Garcia David's right now. David's coming. But if Irish could find a way to get up towards the front of this field, I know that'd make him smile. Oh, and he needs it. He's had a rough week. And uh, Kreesum, he got the win at um, Iowa. Yeah, Iowa. But he had a bad race last week in Michigan and dropped back underneath uh, 20th in points. So he has a win, but, you know, needs to turn that momentum around. He did the old first to worst. Well, so far, he's still in the top 10. He's running ninth. And then Bile right behind him. He hasn't had. Bile's had a lukewarm year for what I've seen. Like, he's Absolutely been in a really good way he's to describe had... it. He's had good runs, but in other races, he's just not finished any. And he was involved in that uh, last wreck. Yeah, caught up in that hard crash on, as they came to the white flag last weekend in Michigan. Actually, the driver that drilled him is up there running in third. And that would be Kerry in the 98. A lot of good speed out of the Toyotas. Both Raz Racing Toyotas up here in the top 10, as well as the 19 of Adam Irish. Back out in front. Still Raz by... Last time across the line, it was just over half a second over Pirate. Foggy seems to be looking on Doc, uh, on Carey, at least nowhere close to him. The man, Pirate's not letting Raz go. Pirate's definitely better through the uh, latter half of the racetrack. But he's just unable to pass him when he comes Two into the corners. This is the closest he's been, I believe. Maybe he's hoping that Raz... Shoots out more into um, the runoff area so we can please let that happen. And look at that. He drove off on him as they went down into the S's. Nice. There is a chance that the 54, or sorry, the 77, could be set up more for the technical part of this racetrack, which is down on the second half of the track. A lot of more slower, tighter corners than on the front half of the track. But because uh, Raz seems to really gap. Uh, Pirate off of turn number one and up through the S's, but Pirate closes it all back on this second half of the lap. Mm -hmm. It's like a closer in baseball. You just have to, like, close them in right at the end and then finish it off. Soggy, got close, to the, Soggy got close to the rear bumper of the 98 there, but drove uh, – uh, Carey – gosh, I'll never get that right. Carey drove off on him just a little bit as they went down the short shoot, and Brent's just hoping they wreck. They're starting to stack up behind here. I saw a lot of these guys going side by side. David Garcia on the attack on the number 19 of Adam Irish as the number three of Dale moves on the 57 of Jordan. He didn't get much of a good run off the turn, though, so he's going to be able to just – Jordan's going to be able to hold on. Dale goes back in line. Another driver running about 15th or 16th right now, the number 26 of Captain in that wage war, that black car right there. He was sitting, what was it, fourth in points earlier this year? I think fifth was about the highest that he got. And after – whether it be Rex, just poor finishes for the over the last couple of weeks, he has dropped all the way down to, it's not the worst thing in the world, but 19th, that's not great. Uh, he's uh, having a lukewarm run right now. He's hoping that he can uh, trend forward towards the end of this thing. That beautiful car. Garth, a guy who's uh, second in points right now, is running way back here. Talked about some guys having good days up at the front, but he's having a not a great day here at the back. And he's going to need to, if he wants to keep himself in this championship contention, especially with how well Soggy's running, he's going to need to get up there or hope for some bad luck on the 29 side. Because right now, Soggy's got the 58 point lead over the field right now in the standings. And uh, Garth's the, the closest competitor. So he's got to start passing some race cars. See Alondo in that Amtrak 11 step out of line, moves back in line behind the seven of fish. He was trying it. He was trying to see if he can get by Fish, set him up, but it just did not work. And it looks like as of now, the whole field single file is working their way around this. I forgot how long Watkins Glen is, actually. 
It's long. That's all I really need to say. It's not going to be a good day for Ricochet. 2.2 miles. Ricochet Ricochet's point two. here right now. Running last. last. Got swept up in the wreck last weekend when Melo blatantly crashed him. <laughs> <laughs> and now running 35th, or sorry, 34th. As up front, it is still the front five starting to break away just a little bit. And we got to remember that pit stops are going to be a thing in this race, so... It's we saw either this race decided on strategy in season one. And two. Was it decided on strategy in season two as well? well I, Mello thought Mello, I thought Melo just led the whole race. Melo and Taco went at it for a little bit. I believe they um hit around like lap 10 last time. Um, or lap 11, something like that. It was close enough that there could they could pit on the last lap potentially. They're getting in their window. Oh boy, chaos. It usually does mix it up a whole bunch. A lot of See David race. Garcia still trying to attack on the 19 of Adam Irish. That Aer Lingus Toyota. A lot of train racing today. Conroll's going to have a hard on. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, back in front, Raz still leading. And he's starting to pull away from Pirate. This is the part of the track where Pirate was faster, but right now Raz has that Car out there in the wind. I love this 54. It looks so nice. Boskov's a uh, local uh, retail store for uh, up here in the Northeast. This a home race for Raz. It'd be big for him if he could win this. Oh, Pirate. On the, the attack. Inside. Pirate closed hard oh, there. Wow. wow. Sniffing his bumper. This is the closest one, I've seen him. Anything. Look at that. Shoving He's him off him. into the corner. He's on him. Raz didn't run off, though. He's just going to wear him out. And there he goes, driving back, you know, away from him in this half of the track. As they head off down into this short shoot before the bus stop. Off the top of the S's, front five breakaway. Ant's trying to join them in that number 72, that Sprite car. New colors for him this weekend. A lot of new colors. 98 has been able to catch the 54 and 77. Oh, fire went wide. Wide. Yeah, that's the a carousel. real wide angle. I don't know about that one. But hey, if you're in the position of Pyre right now, yes, he's been able to catch the, the 54 a couple of times, but why not try something new? See if we can wind it up off the exit of the bus stop, get it pointed down that straightaway, make any ground up. Didn't look like it worked there, though. Better to just keep that low, that line nice and low and tight. So far, no one is pitting. We go through Everyone's the field out here. on track so far. Oh, Nate's Nate trying, to, Nate Nate trying to pass Balto. Ricochet's no Ricochet. longer last. Not last. Position. <laughs> pass Sean. Now, that's also bad for Sean, because Sean currently enters this race 12th in points, hoping for a better day. As of right now, it's not going to happen. Back up at the front, Raz and Pirate still nose to tail. The front four are really close together now. If you really think about it, at least at least you'll get more points than uh, if you still finish last than somebody. Yep, with with one car fewer in the field. It can still only be 34th work. this week. Fanning out. Trying to get that clean air on the nose, get it planted down to the ground, and get a good corner here. Pirates back all over the rear bumper of the 54, and Sloggy's trying to attack the 98. Ooh, Almost got to his inside there. This track, definitely a momentum racetrack, as you see the 51 of Neo out of line up there at the top of the Here picture. Here comes Soggy. Down to the inside, but Kerry's going to drive away on quarter eight, or will he? Is he inside? Not quite. Clear. I think the 29 is definitely faster than the 98, though. Soggy does have a road course win. His first career victory came on the road course in Sonoma, California. Ended under caution, but he was leading and should have gotten it at the checkered flag. So it's still a win. Every win counts in this series as he's mm -hmm. still attacking and carrying that Monster Cat 98. That Mercedes getting lit up by that Ford in his mirror. 
But he runs wide through the carousel like just like Pirate can. did that time. He loses all the ground he'd made up. Pirate stalking Raz there for the lead. Kind of what we saw out of uh, Mello and Taco last year. That was a fierce fought battle. Brent's starting to get into this as well. He's caught up to the 29. Yeah, the front pack seems to be, or his front five at least, seem to be coming back together. If, and with all of them racing, that could bring the 72 of Ant back into the picture along with the rest of the field. We'll just have to watch and see. As David There's Garcia a car on pit still, road. Oh, one in pit road? Nope, that's not a no. car in pit road. That's a pavilion <laughs> right behind me. <laughs> Pace car's there. Pace car is there. That is technically a car. Wow, wow. Front five have a two-second gap back to the, the 72 of Ant as up front. It's the front two still going at it. Carey has been able to get away from the 29 just a little bit as Ant leads the train behind him. Soggy again runs wide. That's going to let Brent close just a little bit. Brent's one hungry driver. He's been a, he came so close to scoring that victory in Daytona as well as uh, several other times, especially the clash. I know it's a non-points race, but every win means something, especially with Brent trying to get that first career victory for his own team, DD214 Racing. He really wants to put them in victory lane. Yeah, technically his team does not have a win because he won in season one. That was under the uh, RWR banner, and so DD214 does not have a win. Back in the field, you see the 47 and the 12 stepping out of line, trying to make a couple of positions. That's Trumpet and Julia Trumpet side I, by side. Trumpet, I think, is side by side. Yeah, he is with Julia. But that big drive off the outside might clear. Maybe not. No, Julia's clear. Oh, yeah, she is. Hard to stick on that bottom when you get squeezed all the way to the uh, curb. Julia did win the clash this season, but so far, she currently sets 24th in points. Nothing flashy. Really hasn't had very many moments of greatness so far this year, apart from a, a couple interesting moments as a lap car. She finished 10th last weekend, but uh, kind of a mid-season for her so far. Super Speedways are usually like her um, like her, her magnum opus. Like She's always excelling at these Super Speedways, but just on track like Boggins Glen, she just it's not having it. She does have a top 10 finish here in season one. She ran in the top 10 as well as potentially in season two. She did have a lot of top 10s that year. So far, not not the same year so far at all. He's been struggling for speed. Definitely thought uh, she would have had a lot more speed after, you know, the speed that she showed in the clash, but it doesn't seem to have it. And Trump is going to try to shoot his shot literally and figuratively at Julia again. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Hey, oh, hey, yeah. Jerry Chen trying to oh, squeeze his little mellow. Shoot his, shoot his shot on trumpet as we go in. That's a weird. You got battle. you got to change that word, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, and Nate is just trapped in thirty second or thirty first. Top five still the same. Lap number sixteen of twenty three. You got to think they're going to be needing to pit sometime soon. If at all. They always have here. I'd be surprised if they make it all the way. Back down through six. We'll see if anybody makes that hard turn onto pit road this time through turn seven. Is anyone coming? Doesn't look like it so far. They tend to turn down right Ooh. as they enter that corner. They'll yeet themselves down to the inside. Doesn't look like anybody's coming so far. Nope. Nope again. Still no, and we are clear. Playing the late game, everybody. Maybe that's why they're running single file so far. Everybody's just kind of biding their time, saving their stuff so they can make one final charge at it at the finish. Jerry, Jerry Chen makes Lattimore. a move on Chris Lattimore, but Lattimore is going to drive away as they head down and towards that those S's. That inside line is not working in turn one. Jerry Chen, another guy who's had speed everywhere we've gone, is running thirtieth right now. I Certainly doesn't seem to have the speed here today. Comes into this race fifth in points. Guy's trying to have a big day up towards the top of the field. Soggy obviously runs in that third spot. Or sorry, fourth. Pirate currently sits third in points, is running second. And Dale is just outside the top ten. He's currently sixth in points. They're side by side back there in the field just a little bit. There's Raz and David Garcia. Or sorry, not Raz. That's Adam Irish and David Garcia going at it. 
And that's going to maybe let Kreezum get down to the inside of the four. David on the inside of Irish. Oh, just couldn't Balls get back there. in line. Captain moving all over the back bumper of last year's champion. As you oh, see, here comes the 29, but on once again nothing. on that inside, nothing you can do down there. You're going to have to be far up beside him if you're going to take it to the S's. I think your best chance to pass if you want to go onto the inside is up here at the bus stop. Haven't really seen anybody do it, but that's a really good place to set up a pass. As this slinky at the front continues. <laughs> the slinky. They've now driven away by three seconds on the 72 of Ant. As they work their way around this road course. 45 gets a little bit wide through that corner. Vuko was having a great race last weekend at Michigan. Wound, uh, he started on the outside pole, got up in uh, a bit of a skirmish with the 67 of Lattimore, uh, but wound up driving it back into the top five. Unfortunately, didn't get the results he was looking for. But uh, this 45 has been very good about showing speed and qualifying. Just needs to translate it over to race day. Still, nobody heads to pit road. Just a handful of laps to go. Just about four laps to go in this race. So you got to think. Might always be trying to stretch game? it. Very bold. They said, nah, the pit crews have a vacation this week. They're on their tablets watching Amazon. The bubble wall pit crew. No, they kept all the tires on. It's interesting how we, uh, as we look at the top 10, a lot of the time we'll see a lot of drivers going for their first career victories this weekend or at the moment right now. Only two drivers in the top 10 have failed to win races in their career. Those two drivers being the number 19 of Adam Irish and the 51 of Neo. Which Raz is shocking looking, because it feels like Irish should have had a win already. Raz and Pirate both looking to take that title for uh, most victories in the series. Both of them sit at two victories. It's both just, of Raz's came in season one. Pirate has a win in season one and in season two. I was just about to say as, or, as sorry, much as Raz good. has led that we needed to bring that up. Because um, that would be, you know, a record getting the most wins. And then the, the 98 of Carey trying to tie them at two wins. The 29 of Soggy, three of the top four are trying to get their third career yeah. victory. Brent's trying to get two as well. And so is Ant. Brent, Ant, David Garcia, and Kreezum all trying to tie the record at two. They've got a lot of distance to make up, though. As you see, the 72, super far. They're almost extended. <laughs> they're looking at trying to get it up to four seconds in front of the, the fifth, or sorry, sixth place car. Yeah, there are a lot of guys. At, it out up front. There are a lot of guys at two wins, and uh, Raz was actually our first ever. He won the inaugural Pog race at uh, Martinsville. And then won at Darlington the same season. Yep. Pirates' two wins came at the Charlotte Motor Speedway in season one, and of course at Daytona earlier this year. Another Daytona winner runs in third behind him. That's the 98 of Carey. He won it in season two. And then Soggy won Sonoma, and where was his other win? Iowa. 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 And Brent won at the New Hampshire Road Course. Yep. And in the 72, won at Atlanta last year. The four of David Garcia won at the Homestead Motor Speedway mm -hmm. in season number two. Kreezum won a couple weeks ago in Iowa. As the attack is on back here, Kreezum looking to the inside of David. I don't think there's going to be anything there, and in fact, there is not. Just no outside the top ten, you got Jordan, season one champion in that 57, looking to get his first career victory since Bristol in season one. The number three of Dale, who's also trying to join the three-win club. The 45 of Uko trying to score his first, and the 50 of Taco, last year's champion. And then there's a big gap behind Captain, who's also sitting at two wins. Before you get back to Fish, a driver who <laughs> could have, should have won a won a bunch of races. Everyone follow the Fish. <laughs> Wando's got a big run on him, too. He peeked to the outside. I don't know about up. that. Nobody steps out of line heading down into the bus stop. Nope. The whole field has stayed together. Sean all over the back bumper of that 68 of Ricochet. Man, Ricochet is going to be so disappointed with this race. Especially after the speed he's been showing the last couple weeks and was running top 10 last week in Michigan and then got involved in a wreck. And showed a lot of speed in practice for this race. Back up at the front, though, Pirate appears to be catching the 54 of Raz bit by bit. They're going to see the white flag next time by. And unbelievably, 
I think they might make it. I don't I even think, think they're, they're going to have to make it. If you pit now, your race is done because somebody will stay out in the back mm -hmm. and bring it on home. Watch it be Balto again. That was how he yes. won the first one. One on fuel yep. strategy. Raz in that 54 has gone winless for, I think at this point, it might be over a year. He might be riding a, over a one season uh, winless streak. Yep, he hasn't won since season one, Darlington. Heads back down through the carousel for the penultimate time. They're going to see the white flag next time they cross the line. Pirate dropping back just a little bit as Carey tries to run away from Soggy. Brent attacking Soggy in the back. Down into Rest six. a higher lane to get a bigger run. Up through seven. Here they come to see the white flag. Just one more time around here from Watkins Glen International. Jordan trying to break into the top 10 at the last second. Here's side-by-side -side battle as they come towards the white flag, the 11 and the 7 side-by-side. -side. This time, the whole field makes it to the white flag. <laughs> Back up front, Raz up through the S's for the final time. This young man trying to score his first victory in a very long time has come close a couple of times between then but never has really showed this kind of race winning speed. That's all changed today as Pirates driving it in hard, trying to take one He's last gaining. ditch effort. He's gaining. Pirate oh, he's going to go just wide. a little bit wide. That's going to cause, that's going to allow yeah, that 54 I, to drive away. I think, I think that might've been it. A couple of the old Wiley veterans going for it up here at the front. Pirates not going to have anything. They come through turn six. Raz slews it out oh, nice and wide. Oh. Gets that good entrance. Through the short shoot, headed for turn seven. Here they come. As long as they don't pit, it's going to be not. the number 54, Raz Racing Toyota. Raz is going back to victory lane. Three wins for that young man. Fine. What a drive today. He dominated this race. Absolute domination. Pirate runs second. Carry runs third. Soggy fourth. Brent fifth. Ant sixth. Irish seventh. David Garcia eighth. Creezo ninth. Good bounce back for him after his last place run. And Neo rounds out the top ten. What a car for the 54. Absolutely. Oh, that was, oh, that Sean was about boy. to turn. <laughs> easy, boys. Hopefully they all make it to pit road this time. We saw them all stuck it, <laughs> smash into the barrels last year. Stuck it in the barrel. Stuck it in the barrel. No. I don't think any of them will, actually. Let's They're so see. far spaced out. This is where it would happen if it's gonna. Hey, I didn't hit him oh. for a while. Captain, are you going to hit it? Hey. Taco. There, we, there we go. Taco hit it. Ah. Taco hit it. Thank you for watching the Let's Paint a Winner 55 here from Watkins Glen International. Congratulations to Raz and that whole number 54 team in Raz Racing on scoring their third career victory, taking that title away from anybody else that was looking to get it. Make sure you join us next time as we go all-star racing from South Boston in the Camping World All-Star Derby. Until that time comes, I'm Jordan here along with Captain, Pirate, and Nate, and we will catch you next time. Ahua. Bye, Watkins. Ooh. Ooh.